Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be discussing windows down versus AC and which one is more efficient depending on which speed you're at, so which one you'll get better fuel economy with. And the reason I decided to do this is basically I may be ripping out the AC system from my Integra at some point and I thought, you know, I might as well run this test before I do and just see how much of an impact AC has on engine power. So that's what we're going to be doing. And basically the test that I've set up is I'm going to be doing a fourth gear highway pull, leave it in fourth gear, that way there's no time difference from shifting gears and things like that, uh, and keep it at wide open throttle. And so I'm going to accelerate from 30 miles an hour to 70 miles an hour at wide open throttle, and then I'm going to take these different time intervals and see how long it takes to, to accelerate from 30 to 40, 40 to 50, etc. And so basically the logic here is, if it takes longer to accelerate from 30 to 40 miles per hour, let's say with the AC on, than with the windows down, then that means that I'm using more power having the window, having the AC on than having the windows down and the amount of drag created. So basically the theory goes that if you have your AC on, you know you're going to be consuming more engine power. However, when you roll your windows down, you're going to be altering the aerodynamics of the car. So by having your windows down, you're going to be increasing drag, and by increasing drag, you're going to be increasing the amount of engine power that you need to accelerate the car to a certain speed. So let's first take a look at the scenario where we have the windows rolled down, accelerating from 30 to 70 miles per hour. with the windows down we're pretty consistent only half of a percent of a difference between the fastest and the slowest so that's good to see the repeatability there uh, so here you have it broken down for the different time intervals 3.172 seconds from 30 to 40 2.983 you can see it gets quicker as it's getting more power it gets into the higher rpms and then it actually gets slower again once it gets up to the higher speeds as drag increases on the vehicle so 3.1 from 50 to 60 and even though power is still increasing as you get into the higher rpms the amount of drag increasing as well so 3.247 seconds from 60 to 70. so now let's check out how long it took to get uh, for these different time intervals for the ac on AC on was a little bit of an outlier. Uh, that said, you know, we can take the average of the three runs, and all three runs were still all significantly longer than the three runs with the windows down. So we can still get meaningful results from it. So let's just check out the averages for the different time intervals uh, from 30 to 40 miles per hour 3.408, 3.092 from 40 to 50. As you can see, the same trend where as you increase in power. Uh, with the higher RPMs, when you're going from 40 to 50 in fourth gear versus 30 to 40, it takes less time, and then drag starts to become a factor from 50 to 70 miles per hour, and the times get slower. So let's look at the percent differences. So from 30 to 40 miles per hour, the AC 7.18% slower than with the windows down, so significantly less efficient using the AC from 30 to 40 miles per hour. From 40 to 50, 3.57% slower with the AC on, from 50 to 60, 2.65% slower with AC on, and then finally from 60 to 70, where apparently drag is kind of taking over and using quite a bit of power with the windows down, the AC was 0.43% faster from 60 to 70 miles per hour. So somewhere in the 60 to 70 range, you probably have that crossover where it's more efficient to have your AC on and your windows up rather than your windows down with your AC off. 
Now, another thing I'd like to comment on is the fact that when you're at lower RPMs, you're producing less power overall, but your AC is going to require a certain amount of power. So, by using that AC, it's going to take up a larger percentage of the power, and so at these lower RPMs, you're going to see more of an impact. So, as it gets to the higher RPMs, the AC doesn't have quite as much of an effect on the power on a percentage basis because you're producing more power overall. So, you know, that could be one thing that's going to influence these results. Now, that said, I think drag's probably going to be the primary factor, but, uh, you know, one thing that you need to take into consideration is the fact that this is going to be different for every vehicle. Every vehicle's aerodynamics are going to be different with their windows down. My Integra uh, probably is going to be minimally impacted by aerodynamics simply because it's just a two-door, uh, and so it's just got two windows that are going down versus four windows in like an SUV or something like that, which would probably have more of an impact. So take that into consideration. But what my recommendation would be is that if you're driving in the city and the temperature outside is cool enough that you can use it, the most efficient option would probably be to roll your windows down. If you're driving on the highway, uh, you want to probably just go with AC if you're too hot. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.